Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Motorsports. It was a very interesting news, a potential new look calendar in 2025. We'll see a return to uh, a bit of normality if you are a Formula One fan because uh, the Australian Grand Prix in Melbourne is set to return to the start of the season, a race which uh, for a lot of Formula One fans, especially in the last sort of 10 years, was sort of always the start of the season. And uh, that was kind of when you knew Formula One was around, you know, but Australian Grand Prix for a lot of people on sort of European or sort of Southern African or African time. Um, nice early mornings, for example, a bit of an awkward time to watch. But for the diehards, that was the most exciting time because we thought of a new uh, season. Now, uh, before we sort of go exactly why um, and how this could now potentially look, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Right. So this year. Uh, we saw back-to-back -back Grand Prix in Bahrain, followed by Saudi Arabia, followed by a few-week break, and then uh, the Australian Grand Prix happening, uh, in fact, this past weekend, uh, or the weekend ago. And um, it was um, the third Grand Prix of the season and sort of took place the last Grand Prix in March. And now, traditionally, it used to always happen sort of beginning of March, and that was the start of the Formula 1 season. Now, the reason, apparently, that this has been going to be changed, and we move back to Australia back to beginning of, uh, of Formula One is because of the issues that happened with hosting Formula Ones in and around Ramadan. Now, we saw that uh, the first two Grand Prix, in fact, actually took place on a Saturday. Now, the reason for this is because uh, they could not have the Grand Prix starting on the day that Ramadan would start, and therefore they had to move the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix back a day. So from the 10th of March, when Ramadan started, they moved back to the 9th of March and therefore had a Thursday, Friday, Saturday race weekend as opposed to a Friday, Saturday, Sunday as is the norm and will be uh, the case for the rest of the season. Now, because there is a rule, there has to be um, a minimum of seven days in between Grand Prix. The same thing happened to, ha 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 to happen with Bahrain. With, uh, once again, the race weekend being brought forward and a Thursday, Friday, Saturday um, race weekend. So we saw the 29th, 2nd and 3rd, sorry, 29th, 1st and 2nd of February instead of the 1st, 2nd and 3rd of February. So we had two Saturday races to start the calendar off, which a lot of people were actually quite upset about because, you know, it's kind of becomes a sort of a Sunday thing, you know, Sundays are for Formula Once. And, um, you know, especially sort of sessions happening on Thursday when people are at work and stuff like that, it becomes a bit more difficult to really get into it. Even Fridays, you know, sort of qualifying, some people will still be at work and all of a sudden, you know, Saturday is your only sort of day you can really get involved. Whereas a Friday, say a Sunday is more into the weekend and becomes a little bit easier uh, to consume as a fan. Uh, now, apparently they're going to alleviate this by jigging the schedule, moving Australia back to the start of the season. And uh, they will look to accommodate Bahrain and Saudi Arabia at a different time when Bahrain does Bahrain, when Ramadan doesn't come into it at all. I think it's a good move, to be honest. I think uh, there was quite a big backlash surrounding the the issues and, and having the race on sort of Saturdays, not a Sunday. And, uh, you know, you don't want to compromise races, for example, uh, and stuff like that. But if there is a case where, you know, race kids are going to have to be shifted due to sort of backs that can't be controlled, then a region of the, of the Formula 1 season, you know, seems to make sense to me. Um, what will be interesting to see is then how they're doing a justice, you know, are they going to be bringing forward the likes of Japan and China, for example, will we be seeing um, Bahrain and Saudi Arabia towards the end of the season, mid season, um, you know, for example, you've got um, the, the Qatar um, Grand Prix takes place in, uh, in November, could we see, and then followed by Abu Dhabi, so could we see maybe an entire sort of Middle Eastern leg, where you kind of go, you know, sort of those sort of four or towards the end, um, you know, do they look at uh, towards sort of September, um, you know, between sort of Azerbaijan before they go to sort of uh, Singapore. Um, so we wait to see exactly what will happen with the Formula One schedule. But um, apparently uh, being reported by one of the major um, sort of updates the journalists is that the, the decision has been made to shift Australia back to the beginning of the season. And uh, this is the reason why. Let me know what you think. Were you OK with the race being on Saturday? Did it be straight to you? Uh, would you like to see Australia back at the, at the start of the season? Um, or did you really not mind? Um, the way we've started now. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.